guys welcome back to my channel I just got done filming the new Natasha Denona this is the glow glow gold and also the new eyeshadow palette which is the mini gold this thing retails for $25 which is just like all the other minis besides for the coral and the cranberry and then the new duo is for $42 and it is a very large size and it will definitely last you a long time look at this packaging this is so pretty and the shades are amazing. You could use these as a highlight and also eyeshadows. So it's multi-functional and the eyeshadow palette which are the mattes and the creamies and they are stunning as well. New shades which are not in in the gold palette still really really pretty. They would definitely mix very well with the gold palette which is right here. I love it. It's fall. It's right up my alley. It's stunning. I hope you guys want to uh, stay tuned to see how I came up with the eye look. But also, if you have not, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me that big thumbs up. It definitely shows me that you guys love my videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share these videos if you uh, like them and you want somebody else to see them that is interested in makeup. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and let's get started. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am filming on a new lens. What do you guys think? The background is really nice and it's very faded, so it's not in focus, so it keeps me in focus. So I wanted to film with some new makeup because I went to Sephora a couple times actually within the last few weeks. I picked up some new products and I wanted to play with them today. I'm gonna do a couple different filmings today, I guess. It is Saturday day and I'm not working. I want to try out the new Benefit Boing concealer. And this is supposed to be a cakeless concealer and I'm going to be using the shade 4. This is really nice how fast my camera focuses. And the highly anticipated, which I can't be more excited about, are the new Natasha Denona. This is the mini gold eyeshadow palette. And then also I got the glow gold highlighter from Natasha Denona. This is a diamond powder and a super glow. This is what the two shades look like. So the lighter one and the darker one. And I'm going to swatch these as well when I actually start putting them on. I think I'm going to use them for my eyes and also for my highlight today. So as you know that the minis are $25, the Shimmer Duo Glow is $42. But I am going to use also the Hourglass, use some of the brow stuff. And I did pick up the Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil in Warm Blonde. And I have used this on my channel a couple times. This is the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Soft Brunette. And I picked up the Hourglass Arch Brow. This is the Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in Warm Brunette. But we are going to start with the face first and then we'll do the brows after that. So I'm going to actually scoot my butt in closer to the desk because I am a little bit further back because it is a 50 millimeter lens. So I'm going to scoot myself forward just a little bit. Hello. Hi. So I'm going to try the concealer first on my eyes using the Benefit Cakeless Concealer Boing in shade four. I like this, this is kind of cool. This is the full packaging, shows the bottom number four. And let's put a little bit of this on each of my eyes. This is what the doe foot applicator looks like, almost the same size as the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know how much to actually put on, so I'm just going to See what we need to do. And I'm going to use the Morphe sponge. I've been using this a lot lately. I enjoy it. I like it a lot. So I've been checking out a lot of new releases and I'm kind of excited to see a lot of the winter launches. 
All right, this is what a light layer of the Kickless Concealer looks like in shade four. Definitely did get rid of the redness from my eyes because I have the veins. And now we're gonna go into the Natasha Denona, the mini gold eyeshadow palette. Again, retails for $25 and you can pick it up at Sephora now. I wanted to order it online, but the last few things I ordered from Natasha Denona online came to me broken. So I was pretty sad. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to wait for this to come into the store and this is what the shades look like I did not touch or swatch any of these and they do have new names as well so Lodge Dark Sephia Dior Bia and Athena is the last shade and this shade and this shade are the shimmer shades this one is like a matte shimmer and then matte and a matte I'll swatch these and I'll be right back and I will show you what they look like so I'm gonna clean fingers very clean creamy first touch of these and very pigmented holy cow this shade is calling my name be awesome all over my lid so i'm going to swatch these hopefully i do a good job so you can see them on the back of my arm from the top here is lodge dark Cephia, dior bia and anthena really pretty they're really really nice very pigmented now that they are wiped off my arm, let's play with the eyeshadows because I am super excited. So the first shade that I'm going to go into is Lodge and I'm going to use a Smith 232 brush and really load up my brush with this and I'm going to put this in the crease but I'm going to keep this a little bit higher and blow it out more in the outer edge. I'm gonna go into the shade again and really make sure it's blended out. And it's a really pretty shade. Trying to decide if I'm going to pick up the new eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. I have a couple of the other ones and I gave in to the price. I don't know, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see that if I purchase it. Okay, so I'm bringing this shadow out pretty far to the edge of my brow and I'm just connecting through the outer C area just to make sure that everything looks good. And the next shade that I'm going to use is, let's go in with Bia. And I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm going to use a Smith 230. Pack it in the, in the outer C and drag it into the crease a little bit, about halfway. I'm putting it on the lid as well, about halfway. Going in with the shade one more time, dragging it onto the lid. And then going in with the previous brush with no extra product and just blending that out a little bit. Just make sure that everything is seamless. I like this shade, it's really pretty. and making sure that each eye is blended and looks about the same. Sitting back, looking at my mirror from far away and going back in, tapping the shadow on and blending it out. Um, I do notice that there is fallout, so if you are not happy with that, I want to warn you that this one does have a pretty good amount of it so far. Quite honestly, it doesn't bother me. A lot of people do not like that. So I just wanted to make sure that you know that. I'm gonna go into the darker shade, which is the darkest one in this palette, and this is Dark Cephia. And it is a mixture of like a matte and a shimmer together. It's got a little bit of reflect to it, which is really pretty and very interesting. I didn't see a shade like this in the full size gold palette, so I like it a lot. And I'm going to use a Sigma F63 brush, smaller brush, to pick up a little bit of this shade. And I'm going to put this in the outer between the first shade and the second shade just to darken it up a little bit. So I'm going to tap slowly and very soft just to bring a little bit of depth. I'm 
don't want to get rid of all of that really pretty Bia green shade. And I'm going to go into the second brush with the green and blend a little bit of this out. And pick up a little bit more of that green just to make sure it did not go away all of the way. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that dark sepia again on that brush from Sigma and just tapping it on. I'm going to go in with a clean brush. This is a Morphe R37 and blend this out very softly, just the outer edge. And blending it out with that clean eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go in with that first Smith brush, the 232 and the first shade again, which is Lodge, and blend this in the outer crease. These shades are very beautiful and they are blending really, really nice. So I do like that, just like the rest of Natasha Denona's shadows. This is something that she is known for and their pigmentation as well. So I am loving this. I'm going to go into the brow in the front on both sides to make sure everything has some color. And this is what the eye look is looking like so far. Very, very pretty. I like it a lot. We are going to use the more creamy shades and I'm going to go in first with Anthea. Is that how you say it? If I'm not saying it right, someone needs to tell me. But this is the shade Anthena. And this is more of the darker shade. And I'm going to use a MAC 242 brush, a oldie but a goodie. And I love this brush. And I have a synthetic version of it as well. So I'm going to tap this on the lid almost to the front, but I want to put the lighter shade on as well. So this is what it looks like with the brush. No mist on it. It is pretty, pretty creamy shade. Really nice but I think I'm actually going to go in with my finger. So I'm going to pick some up on my finger. Let's take, ooh, yep. Okay, use your finger. Still is a very nice way to get the shadows on there. A lot more pigment and payoff. Just gonna pick up a little bit more. Just gonna go in with that brush with the green and blend it out just a little bit. So I'm going to go in again with the MAC 242 and we're going to stamp this on the other eye. Pick it up on my finger again, but using my left hand for my left eye. Going in with a little bit more of the green. Okay, I'm going to wipe off that 242 brush. And we're gonna go in with the middle shade, Dior. That's the gold shade. This is probably gonna be very, very pretty. I am excited to try this one out. So I'm gonna try the shade first without any spray. Yes. Look at that. That is so pretty. I'm drawn to these really greeny and gold shades. I don't know why, but like they're so pretty. Even with my last look that I used, so pretty. I'm going to pick up some more of that shade on that 242 and I'm going to use Matte Fix Plus and I'm gonna spray the brush pretty well and let's apply some of the shade as well. So pretty. Let's do the other eye. This thing is shiny, very shiny and very pretty. This all over the lid would be really nice too. Just blending it out a little bit. Going back into the Anthena shade on that wet MAC 242 brush again and I'm swiping the shade and let's put it on the eye and see if it is better. That is really pretty. I like this too. 
I'm just gonna flip it over and pick up a little bit of the gold shade and just mesh the shades together. I love this a lot. This is really nice. Natasha Denona doesn't know me and I'm sure she'll never know me, but I really, really like her shadows a lot. I never really thought that I was gonna be able to buy her shadows because they were expensive, but since she came out with the mini palettes and stuff, I've been actually venturing into them more and I love these a lot. So what I'm going to do is go back into the first shade and just blend everything out, which is the Lodge shade, and just blend out the edges, make sure everything looks good. No harsh lines. Let's go into the Glow Gold highlighter. Look at this packaging, like that. Oh, so pretty. We're going to use the Diamond Powder. The lighter shade and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this see how it goes so I'm going to use that MAC 242 but I'm not going to put any mix fix plus or anything on there and let's tap this on reminds me a lot like my Kat Von D highlighter that I like to use a lot what top the inner corner a little bit with the lighter shade again was really pretty just a little bit lighter which is really neat so this is what the eyelids are looking like with the both the mini gold eyeshadow palette and the glow gold and this is what it is looking like so far I am going to put some mascara on and put a little wing liner on and I'll be back in just a few minutes for me probably about a half hour but for you maybe five seconds so I will be right back okay so I am back and I already have a full face of makeup on just use some foundation the new boing concealer testing this off camera to see how I like it and so far I like it pretty well I'll have to try it again also using it the Lancome Skin Feels Good foundation. And I used a lip combo, which I actually really, really like. It's the MAC Lip Liner in Subculture and O. And I put some lipstick on the Dulce of Colors Desert Suede. For the gloss, I used Flat White from Bite Beauty, which this thing is not tacky and I like it a lot. So I used the bronzer from the Edit palette and I also used NARS Casino. But I forgot to contour my nose, so I'm gonna do that quick. And I get a lot of questions on the brush that I use. It's just a Soho brush and it's actually eyeshadow, but I like to use it for my contour. I'm going to use my NARS Eda brush with some more of Casino as well. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. What is a new Natasha Denona look without using the Bloom blush? So I used the blush and it's really pretty. Makes me feel very healthy and I like it. What I'm going to do is go back into the mini palette and we're going to start working on the lower lash line. I did put mascara on already, extra of the Chanel mascara and Bad Gal Bang. But what we're going to do is go in with our first brush that we were using from for the Smith 232 and we're going to go into Lodge. Pick some of this up and we're gonna put this on the lower lash line. I'm gonna go from the inner corner to the outer corner and pull her down just a little bit because I want to smoke this out pretty well. Just blending the shade pretty well on both sides. I'm gonna go into the smaller brush that we used, the Smith 230. We're gonna go into the second shade, which is the Bia shade, and we're going to focus this in the outer area and connect it with the top as well. Go back with that first brush and sweep the edges. Using with a Sigma E15 definer brush, I'm going to go in with Dark Cephia and we're going to run this along the lower lash line just to define it. I'm 
going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in Goldmine. And I'm going to put this in the waterline. And then I'm going to go into the darker of the shimmer shade, Anthonia. But I'm going to use that Sigma Flat Definer brush again. And I'm going to put this in the front area and slide it underneath a little bit. Just a little pop of shimmer. Then I'm going to use a M431 pencil brush and then we're going to go into your and we're going to put this in the lower inner corner to connect the upper and it meshes pretty well with the Anthonia shade as well in the inner corner. And then on top of that I'm going to go in with the Glow Gold and we're going to use the lighter of the two shades on that same pencil brush and tap that on the inner corner as well just to make a little bit extra pop here. I did not put any highlight on the face yet so I want to try the darker shade which is the Super Glow and I'm going to put this in the outer area through here and then I'm going to go in in the front a little bit more with the diamond powder. So to do that I'm going to use the Morphe M501 brush. Looks very very gold. I'm kind of excited for this and let's put the hair back and let's apply her. Oh, she's pretty. She is very pretty. I don't know if this shade will be for everybody. So that is something that you'll have to go to Sephora and test out, definitely. Unless you're just a gold person and maybe you want to use it for eyeshadow shades. That's not a bad thing either if you feel like it's too dark for your face. Let's go ahead and stick this on the opposite side. Oh, so satisfying. This shade is so pretty. I am loving this. Look at that, that is so pretty. So I'm going to put this brush down and I'm going to use the Morphe M510 brush and we're gonna go in with the lighter of the two shades. And let's swap this on and kind of mesh the two together as well. Wow, wow, this is so pretty. This is really nice. I'm gonna go in with a little Morphe brush. There's no number on it. And I'm gonna take the lighter shade again and I'm gonna put this on the tip of my nose and down the bridge. I'm gonna go back in with that white Morphe M510 and each side of the top of the brow and on my chin a little bit. And I'm going to set my face the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist just to set everything down. Just need to lastly put some Bad Gal Bang mascara on my lower lashes. All right guys, this is the final look using the new Natasha Denona launches, the Glow Gold and the Mini Gold eyeshadow palette and highlight duo. I really enjoy both of these shades. I'm going to try them again and I'm going to use them as eyeshadows. Let's maybe mix them with the Natasha Denona Gold palette as well. Do like these shades a lot. These are the two shades from the duo and they are pretty sheer, but they are really nice. You can kind of see them on the back of my hand. This is the lighter shade here, and then the darker shade. And the eyeshadows performed very, very nice. I like them. They're just the same quality as the rest of the shadows from the normal big size palettes to the minis as well. So I definitely do recommend this. This is really, really pretty. Shades are really, really nice. They blend really nice as well. They're just really, really good quality. I hope you guys enjoy this look. Please let me know if you want to see more new launches in the future. Please give me that big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you click that bell and hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.